the YouTube channel of MCO Law Office. I am your lady lawyer, attorney Maria Cecilia Oliva. In this video, I will be sharing with you some tips on how to have a meaningful legal consultation with your chosen lawyer. But before we proceed to this video, please click subscribe, the bell icon, and please give this video a thumbs up. So without any further delay, let us start the discussion. So the first tip that I am sharing to you is actually very self-explanatory and that is please be on time. If you cannot make it on time, you have to inform your lawyer that you will be arriving late. So the second tip that I am going to give you is that please be honest with your lawyer. You have to disclose everything. You do not get to filter out any information, okay? Let the lawyer decide what facts or information are relevant or irrelevant. You do not have to worry about the lawyer disclosing whatever information that you relay during the legal consultation. Why? Because uh, the said communication is actually covered by lawyer-client privilege communication principle. Meaning to say, all of this information shared during the legal consultation is considered as confidential. Now, is there any instance where the lawyer is allowed to disclose the information gathered during the legal consultation? And the answer is yes. So what are those instances? The first is the first instance is when you actually consented to such disclosure, okay? That is very self-explanatory. The second instance is when there is a court order, meaning the, the lawyer is mandated by the court to disclose the information that you gave to the lawyer during your legal consultation. The lawyer has no choice but to, to follow the court order, else the lawyer may be subjected to a case for direct contempt of court. Okay? So, what happens if the lawyer discloses the information gathered during the legal consultation without your consent or without the court order? What can you do as a client? Okay? If that is the case, you can actually file a case for disciplinary action against the lawyer. Okay? Where should you file that um, action or case? You can file it before the Supreme Court or the Integrated Bar of the Philippines. Now, if found guilty, the lawyer may be subjected to uh, disciplinary action which may range from reprimand, suspension, or disbarment. When we say disbarment, it means that the lawyer is stripped of his or her privilege to practice law and of course, his or her name will be stricken out of the role of attorneys. The third tip is that you should come to the legal consultation prepared. So if it is actually your first time to go to a legal consultation, you might want to ask the lawyer if there is anything you need to bring during the meeting, okay? Now, if you cannot bring, let's say, a specified document, then you have to disclose the, to the lawyer what is the reason why you cannot do so, okay? Of course, it pays if you will bring a list of questions with you during the legal consultation. But, I highly suggest that you only ask questions that are actually related to your legal problem as presented to the lawyer. The fourth tip that I'm going to give you is that please answer questions directly okay there is no point in beating around the bush okay. so at this point you might be asking what is the difference between answering questions directly and answering questions through beating around the bush okay i will give you an example so ma'am how would you describe your husband when you were still dating ganito po kasi yan attorney 
nung kami pa ay ano, nagde-date, nung nililigawan pa niya ang quarter ni, mapait naman po siya. Opo, and then, iniisbol niya nga po ako eh. Kahit na hindi ko birthday, binibigyan niya ako ng mga regalo. Parating niya ako minibigyan ng mga flowers, ng cake. Pati yung parents ko, attorney, kahit na wala kami mga celebration, nabibigay siya ng mga regalo eh. Pati kahit na nililigawan pa ako ng aking asawa nung time na yun, attorney, parami na po ako naririnig actually, nasabi-sabi na yung, yung, yung lalaking yan, lasenggo, babaero, sugarol, pero hindi ko kasi napapansin yun, attorney, kaya sinagot ko siya. <laughs> so from that clip, what are your observations in the answer? Please comment down below. So what is the better way of answering the said question? I will give you an example. So ma'am, How would you describe your husband when you were still dating? Well, attorney, when we were dating, my husband was actually a very nice person. Like, he was really very patient with me. And he showered me with kids. In short, I was really very spoiled when we were still dating. And I also observed that he loved my parents. Like, every time he would go to our house, he would be bringing some gifts like food or flowers whatever so if you have noticed the second answer is actually more direct to the point obviously the second answer did not uh, did not include chismes okay so that is how you should be answering the questions posed by your lawyer during legal consultation and the last tip that I will give you is that uh, you should always expect that the legal consultation is for a fee unless you are getting legal consultation from a PAO lawyer okay so if you are a first timer in transacting with a lawyer what is the best approach the best approach for me is that you should ask the lawyer how much is his or her professional fees for legal consultation. So, what are the results that you can expect out of a legal consultation? So, after a legal consultation, you should, number one, know what are your rights and obligations given your specific circumstance. Okay? The second result should be... Uh, you must be informed of whatever legal remedy or remedies that are available to you okay if there is more than one legal remedy that you can avail of um, you should be informed what are the pros and cons of each remedy available so what is an example of a legal remedy an example is filing a case or legal dismissal against your former employer which is to be filed before the National Labor Relations Commission or NLRC. So these are the tips for you to have a meaningful legal consultation with your chosen lawyer. I would love to hear from you. Please do not hesitate to send me your comments or suggestions in the comment box below or through my Facebook page. Once again, I am attorney Maria Cecilia Oliva of MCO Law Office, and I am now signing off.